This game's all about admiring the most beautiful creatures in the forest, and stabbing them all in their stupid heads so we can take their stuff. Once we kill enough of them, we get stronger so we get upgraded, so we can kill even more cute creatures. For example, we can get Fury, shoot one large shuriken that deals 20 damage, it has a 3.5 second cooldown, but look at the size of it, it's gonna tear through all the wonderful idiots of the forest. It really is a very pleasant art style, we've already leveled up again. Summon a Shadow Clone that mimics your skills dealing 20% damage, yeah why not, I've always wanted a friend. Now I have a Shadow that's gonna hurt things too. And this all feels pretty good. There's a countdown at the top, I'm not sure what it's counting down to, but we're leveling up very quickly. Let's just take 10% crit chance. That's going to be important for both me and my shadow friend. Yeah, let's just back to good old-fashioned genociding the forest. Probably don't want to touch all of those. I mostly just want damage right now, so I'm going to turn up Fury. I think that's, yeah, my big shuriken, so now I think I fire two of those. Or maybe it's just a shadow firing them. I'm not really sure. As long as things are dying, I'm very happy. I don't want to bother re-rolling anything yet. I'm just going to upgrade my shuriken. I think that has like seven levels of upgrade potentially, so we'll get there eventually. For now, murder away. Uh, I'm also being constrained within the circle of idiots but they gave up and dissipated because they're idiots. Uh, I'm just gonna get this because that seems to max out Fury, so I think that just adds one more big one, which is really very good because eventually I'm gonna need a safe path to travel down. And I think I can actually aim everything. Hey, what's that thing? I didn't know there was vending machines in the forest. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade my shadow clone. Dense matter sounds fun, but I'm also mostly just thinking about the vending machine now. Does it... Do I kill it? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Seems like I'm supposed to hurt it, maybe. I can hurt it. This is very confusing. All right, well, I can't spend too much time worrying about the vending machine. I need my upgrades. Maybe I can satisfy both. If I hang out here, I might get enough. I can lose critical damage. 5% extra XP would be great, especially this early on. The more experience I get, the more I level up, the more things I can hurt. And these are pretty adorable, so it's really fun. I don't love any of these, so we're going to go with work gloves plus 10% crit chance again. We now have a 1 in 5% chance to crit. I'm not sure how much damage the crits do, but we'll find out on Grumpy. Uh, which one's Grumpy? Oh, probably that one. Seems pretty big. We did take damage for the first time, mostly because I was staring at a giant snail. Uh, we're gonna try the dense matter now. I'm pretty sure that fire is like a black hole. Yeah, that, that absorbs things in, so it's gonna help corral a bunch of idiots where we can also do more damage to them. So far, Grumpy uh, is dying pretty quickly, so I'm not too worried about the first boss. Uh, those big shurikens are also really, really good because they tear through absolutely everything. Whoops, that uh, enemy was too small to see in my defense. Uh, there's that black hole thing going off again. Grum uh, okay, I didn't see that behind the tree. I'm going to turn up my uh, shadow clone damage again. Now it's going to do quite a bit more, and the more things I'm firing, the more things it's firing. So that's just going to be extra damage and hopefully super useful. Uh, I also need to start figuring out how to get some healing because I keep walking into things. Okay, we're going to do extra the dense matter set. So Oops, that was almost uh, really bad. Okay, this was... Uh, okay, I gotta focus and not walk into idiots. Ooh, look at the stuff on the ground, though. I'm just so distractible. I do also want more experience, and then we can turn some other things up. Shoot three cards to deal 10 damage with 50% crit chance. All right, yeah, we need more attacks going out. We lost way too much health there. Just because there's too many enemies. I don't want to avoid the enemies. I just want to kill them out of the way like that. I shouldn't get hit by things like that. But I just need to be able to kill them a little quicker. That's all. Uh, I'm not sure. Something's healing me. And that might just be healing over time. Do I want more crit chance? I guess I do. That's going to come in handy eventually. The more crits I do, the more things are going to die. The happiest place in the forest. Full of flying blades. I need more area of that too. They're grouping up quite a bit. Uh, plus 10% crit damage probably. Because we're doing a lot of crits at this point, I think. Yeah, that seems to be doing the trick. We did 63 and a bunch of big crits. Uh, yeah, we're definitely getting healed by something. I'm not sure what it is. The vending machine dropped what I assume is health. Uh, we should upgrade our basic shurikens, but I'm going to take elixir first, uh, just because that's a good investment now. We're at full health anyway, so we'll be okay. Just going to stay circling the food right here. That way, if I take any damage, I can go scoop that up. And we're about to be uh, encircled by idiots, also known as the royal slime. How does it feel to be king of the morons? Plus 10% damage, minus one defense. Yes, I'll take that all day long. I don't need defense if everything dies before they have a chance to hit me. Uh, he seems to be dying fairly quickly. Can't really remember how quickly the first boss died, but I'm very optimistic about this so far. I want to just go into evaporation mode where everything just gets disintegrated. Could do that again. Yeah, let's take another 10% damage. We're an absolute glass cannon at this point, but hopefully we'll just fire enough weapons that everything absolutely gets disintegrated. I'm going to pick up that little bit of sushi. I think we might actually be regenerating a little bit of health over time. I bought a trinket that was supposed to do that. I didn't know how to equip it, so maybe it's just automatic. We're coming up on level 20 pretty quickly. Uh, okay, that didn't actually hit me, I don't think, but it was really, really close. I'm going to start to upgrade my basic shuriken too, because I'm pretty sure that's my most fired weapon, so I might as well get some proper damage out of it. Royal Slime's coming down for another landing. Uh, he's definitely almost dead. 350 HP left. 
Uh, three HP left. I gotta get out of the circle of idiots. There we go. He's dead. I don't really love any of these options, so... Place a mind that explodes on contact and deals 20 damage. Yeah, why not? That way things that follow me around will blow up, and then I'll hopefully get a little bit of a clearer path to maneuver. I also need to get to whatever that is. Imbue your weapon with 25% size. Probably my shurikens then, because they're my bread and butter. Ah, now I get more stuff too. We're going to do an extra 10% crit damage because that stacked with my super high base damage is going to mean evaporation for uh, the beautiful woodland creatures. Oh, there's also something floating on the ground I didn't see. Oh, more XP. Uh, I'm going to take shurikens at this point. Then we're going to reroll all of those. Probably just shurikens again. Uh, because we're starting to fire a lot of those, and so is my little shadow clone. I feel like that's really bad for the environment, which is really good for me. Okay, we're just going all out on Shurikens then. Getting close to max level for those, plus they have their star. Yeah, one more level and the Shurikens are actually maxed. And those should be firing off a lot. So the damage feels pretty good so far. I just need to keep going with lots of good experience. There's mine sitting on the ground, and other bosses coming up soon. Okay, plus two Shurikens, and we're now firing seven at a time. Plus my clone is also firing seven. That have increased damage, uh, and crit chance. Boblin! We're fighting what's known as a Boblin, the absolute king of the absolute idiots. He's getting hurt out by something and I don't even know what it is. Wow, we're really messing him up quickly. Shoot a star that deals more damage the further it travels. Yeah, I'd like the sound of that and that's just adding another weapon we didn't have before. I do need to stop getting hit by uh, the Boblin though. He's throwing his axe at me and that kind of hurts. But we're also hurting him a lot. And as long as I'm moving like sideways from him, I don't think he can hit me. Because that thing just flies straight out and that's it. Uh, tracking rockets, I guess, at this point. I didn't really want to go for rockets. I don't know why, but we did anyway. And there we go. Boblin's dead. Everything looks so happy out here. It's hilariously fun to kill them all, thinking how happy they are. Uh, this stabs five times, dealing 10 damage with 50% crit chance. All right, I could live with that. We should upgrade some more of these other things. Well, we'll take plus 10% damage and lose another one defense. I mean, it's not going to hurt us to get more damage. Oh, we could do it again. Okay, well, now we're definitely a <laughs> super glass cannon. Can't touch anything, which is kind of, uh, scary in the circle of idiots. I just got to be careful amongst all the chaos not to touch things, because it's it's getting a little bit hard to see. And we're gonna swing back this way. We're gonna get an extra two stabs here. Should probably upgrade my cards at some point. I feel like I've had them for a while and they've done very little upgrades. But everything's gonna work out fine. You don't need health when you've got damage. You don't need anything else when you've got damage, really. Um, We're gonna take another 10% damage. Why not? I don't know if we have any big items that are really hitting that hard, but the higher the damage goes, obviously the more those uh, percentages are going to attack on top. But I know at least a few of our things are hitting hard because we melted that last boss. Uh, we're going to take extra cards damage. Just more more damage, more everything. That's the only thing that matters. Shroom. Okay, not sure where Shroom is going to uh, come from right now. I need the circle of idiots to dissipate. There we go. Okay, so he turns into like a bullet uh, storm type guy. That should be fine. Didn't mean to touch that. I think once we get close, we'll be able to melt him. He's got 5,000 HP, but he's already down to um, 3,400. Emits a yo-yo that deals 20 damage. Yeah, I think we're going to need that too. Just the more things I have kind of around me, the better. I need to start clearing out idiots. Damage isn't a problem, but I need attack speed, basically. I think I can even hit him when he's off the screen, though. Maybe? Well, when I hit him with those, anyway, he just melts no matter what. So I'm really not worried about this boss. Uh, he's actually already dead. And that was kind of, uh, heals 2 HP, 10 second cooldown. Yeah, that's going to help me stay alive. We're just going to heal through the damage, basically. Uh, we're going to take more rockets, plus 8 rockets on the tracking rocket thing. I'm sure there's a helpful. I also need to pick up that chest on the ground as soon as we get close. Got it. Uh, one extra shooting star, please. Oh, I almost walked right over this. What do we want to upgrade? The stabber? Probably the stabber. What's this going to do? Oh, I didn't see what it did. It did something, though. I'm very surrounded right now and a little nervous about that. Let's take the shooting star because that's going to give me extra damage. Okay, we're good there. Now the shooting star is going to do tons of damage to things that are far away. We're already doing up to 100 damage on a lot of our things. Which seems to be doing a lot for the enemies who are melting. I also need to remember to keep aiming on this. It's very easy to forget you have to actually auto-aim. Plus 5% critical chance. That's an important one. Oh, we can even see the stats over here. So my critical chance is 40%. Critical damage is 220%. Wish I knew about that before. It would have been fun to watch the stats get bigger. But we can still just watch a good old-fashioned damage get bigger. That's always fun. I'm going to add an extra mine. I'm not sure how good that's been. Probably fairly. But at least I'm dropping one on the ground once in a while. And uh, that's bad for the enemies. Probably also clears up some space for me. Seems to do quite a bit. Here comes Croak. The next idiot who dares to challenge me. But we're going to murder Croak pretty bad as well. Uh, let's do an extra 5% crit chance again. Really want that double damage. Crit chance is now 45%. 
and the, uh, that thing at 5500 HP, uh, it's down to about 4700 now and that number is going to drop. Getting a little bit uh, tense with everything flying around. Not sure what these coins do, if those are just straight up experience or those are the currency I used to buy upgrades. Okay, Croak is down to 3300. Actually, if I stay right here, yeah, that dropped it to 2000 just because I got my stabbing stuff going. Uh, let's take Soda Pop because I just need more damage going out again to help just clear some space. Otherwise, I'm going to get surrounded and murdered. Uh-oh, that was ugly and bad. Almost got croaked dead. And we're almost dead. Okay, we're okay. Just got to not touch anything for a couple seconds. Oh, this is going to be an ugly spot. Oh, uh, hopefully the boss drops some kind of heals. And that I can find my way back over there. Come on, circle of idiots, go away. All right, we're going to do a big old circle to get back over there. Oh, there's a donut. I think we might be okay. Oh, that stuff actually slowly makes its way towards you. That's a nice touch. We're going to add shooting star, uh, more rockets. It's very, everything moves toward you slowly every time I click something. Uh, we get more haste, but we lose move speed. I kind of like that. I feel like I could sacrifice a little bit of move speed for an extra 5%. I assume attack rate is what it meant, but I just kind of clicked on it because that's an extra 5% DPS really. If we were doing a thousand damage per second, uh, we're not doing 1050 damage per second. HP is slowly coming back, but I'm going to have to start taking it a little bit more seriously because the boss almost wrecked me. Ooh, I get 2.5 attack speed extra on my stabber and I'm in a stabby mood today. These guys are going to have no chance at all. Pingu. The bosses are definitely, I feel, coming a little more frequently, or maybe I'm just finding it. Ooh, this is ugly. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go down here for a sec. So, Pinku flies around. Can I get some food or something out of this? Yeah, we can get food out of this. Perfect. All right, full health, full confidence. Uh, okay, Pingu lights the ground on fire. Good to know. Uh, Pingu is also losing a lot of health. Don't know what that was. Don't really care. Just keep aiming towards Pingu and moving away. Is there like a dodge or jump button I don't know about? What is substitute? We're going to buy substitute because uh, it might be giving me a little bit of defensive power that I feel like I kind of need right now. Though we are wrecking Pangu. Damage is not our problem. Uh, decision making is. Okay, we're dead. So my Fury and Shurikens were definitely the most DPS. Everything else was actually kind of weak. Even my beloved Stabber, we could do better. Okay, I've added a whole bunch of basic upgrades. So now we're much stronger than we were before. So I just got to slowly murder my way right back to where we were at. And I've got some new things like this. Plus uh one percent chance to heal three hp on kill we're gonna kill a lot so that's gonna be some nice heals okay we're back to the first boss so let's see how our newfound uh damage is gonna hold up not bad so far not as good as it was before but we're a little more survivable right now and damage is gonna scale pretty hard pretty soon okay second boss is here we're up to the royal slime now damage is uh, definitely stepped up a little bit and we're definitely investing in some very high powered weapons right now not like we're lacking for damage, but it's going to escalate really hard. And I mean, to be fair, he is down to like 40% health already and he just appeared. So we're in pretty good hands. I also have a pet rock that I need to upgrade before it does anything apparently. But pretty sure he's dead. So we're just going to uh, sneak in there and it loves you a little more. I also need to get that stuff. Ooh, 5% chance to heal 1 HP on hit is pretty good. And we're going to interact with that. We're going to upgrade probably our basic shuriken. Uh, there's also going to be a 1% chance to gain 3% heals. I think I read that correctly or maybe that's backwards whatever the case we can get healed on hit now by several different items pet rock loves you a little more there's better payout by the end it's going to be like six upgrade points of uselessness until the end okay i'm back to the boblin this shouldn't be a problem one of the uh small things though is that i've been upgrading the pet rock and we're still not to the point where it's useful so i just spent like five upgrade points on essentially no upgrades yet the next one however should get us something good for now i'm going to take an extra whatever percent crit chance and so now it's 15 percent so like one in seven hits should be about a crit uh, aside from that, we're going to just scrape by the Boblin's attacks, trying not to touch that thing again, and he should be dead momentarily. And we're going to upgrade the Lost Box, because that just kind of fires a random weapon once in a while, so that could fire all sorts of different things, some of which I'm hoping are really, really good. Uh, Boblin is dead, we don't have the, um, well, we're going to take extra scythe damage for now then, and then we're going to take all of this to do extra, I guess make the yo-yo bigger because a yo-yo probably is going to be really strong for us eventually. Just got to make sure it's actually hitting things. Um, probably, ooh, 5% chance to heal 1 HP. Actually, that scythe is going to be our healer too. Maybe if we get the scythe dealing enough damage, it can both damage and heal. Then I don't need anything else. I just need a good sharp scythe. I've got my basic shuriken maxed out, uh, and I've got the big shuriken maxed out, so that feels good. We can also get a max level scythe. 
with, which uh, knocks its cooldown, so it's going to be attacking a lot and getting us a lot of heals, which is good because we're right in time for the Shroom boss, who we're hopefully going to melt using our many shurikens. This isn't a great place to be standing for me. We're going to move. I regret my pet rock decision so far. I hopefully find the right upgrade for that. Uh, I shouldn't have used the rerolls early on, but I didn't know I was going to commit to a pet rock that so far does nothing. Okay, I'm going to upgrade my randomizer thing, so it's hopefully going to do more damage, and then we're just going to keep attacking the big mushroom. Uh, it's just about dead. We're killing everything else really quickly. I need my pet rock. Plus one rotation for the yo-yo. The yo-yo will help keep us alive a lot, so the more it can do, uh, certainly the better it will do. And big boy's dead. Give me my pet rock. There it is. It loves you a little more. I'm not sure what it did. Imbue your weapon with 25% haste. Probably the scythe because the scythe is the one that could heal us. So if it's swinging around, it's probably going to heal us at least a little bit. Oh, and there's still a thing on the ground. What about our pet rock? Does it do anything? Okay, well, uh, I'm going to upgrade my yo-yo some more because it's maybe going to be the next one I work on uh, along with my lost box. So it's going to do its random weapon like that once in a while and that's going to do lots of damage. And that's good because things are starting to get tense because there's a lot of enemies on the ground. Nothing I can't handle so far. I am going to upgrade my crit chance one more. So I went from a 1 in 4 to about a 1 in 3 crit chance. I'm just hoping that's an Enough to kind of make a difference to keep the area clear once the bosses arrive because suddenly we can start getting touched by things everywhere. We do have that for plus 10% damage minus one defense. I'm actually going to take that right now because we have so much healing coming back away. We could uh, stand even 10% damage is going to make a pretty big difference. And we didn't lose all that defense, so we're not as uh, vulnerable as we were before. Okay, we managed to get out of the circle of idiots for a second. Uh, we're going to let the boss get nice and close. We're right where we want it, and then we're going to avoid their bubbles. Oops. Nope, we're not going to avoid the bubbles. Okay, we're going to have to stay a little bit of range away because that thing hurts. Though we did put our health back almost right away, so maybe this isn't so bad. Maybe we actually can tank through this. There's so many enemies, it's hard to avoid them all. Okay, I'm going to buy pedals. Emit 10. Uh, eight petals that deal 10 damage they go out and come back and they have crit chance on their return trip that's gonna help just clear out space because we need attacks going in all directions right now oh that's a new one too that's that randomizer attack that um probably is doing a lot really yeah we're lucky a little bit in damage but i blame the pet rock for that i upgraded the pet rock and so far it's doing i think nothing okay, i'm also going to buy the toast at this point every 10 seconds we're going to get a little bit of hp that's also going to help keep us alive i really don't want to be stuck in the idiot circle with the boss right now so if we could just go ahead and maybe finish that thing off that's a lot of enemies but that's also a lot of heals because we hit them all i think and there we go boss dead okay i'm gonna buy the lost box again that's gonna uh, upgrade my random weapon and we're gonna do that one more time i think that's max level random weapon uh, i think i'm also gonna buy balloons then i think that just makes all of my things 10 percent bigger which is actually really big right now because there's just a lot of idiots to kill plus a lot of my uh, items have healing potential now so the more things they hit the more heals we get uh baseball bat sounds nice too swings a bat that deals 40 damage and knocks back enemies so that's gonna help clear me a little space here and there also and that might actually push them back into the yo-yo zone come on beautiful idiots faster i need more experience oh actually that thing wasn't now it's max level uh, so now it's uh, i think dropping water on things and I don't think I even have access to that upgrade otherwise. Oh, Pengu. I forgot about him already. The fiery idiot who's probably going to do a lot of damage to me. All right, well, we're going to do our best to not walk in the fire this time. Because we learn stuff. Though he is taking a lot of damage already. This uh, might actually be pretty good. We're actually getting a lot of hits off on him. Plus, we're healing while doing this largely. Except for that. Take one. Oh, what am I standing in? It's hurting so bad. Okay, I'm going to buy uh, the Shadow Clone. Uh, it's gonna help me fire more things. Those are my mines that were really, really big. Move, move, move. He's gonna circle around. Keep running. Yep, stay in his face. Come on, heals. Where's all my heals? Okay, we gotta keep moving away from Pingu because he's really dangerous up close. Uh, that was close. That's still really close. Uh-oh, I'm in a bad spot and I'm dead. Him. Him is a problem. Okay, this time I'm setting myself up super well. I've gotten pretty much max experience uh, upgrade, so I'm getting an extra 25% experience. It was a bit of a slow start, but that's a great investment. Especially since I've already maxed out my shurikens and soon to be my giant shuriken as well. So we're at the next boss already, so we're going to upgrade our critical chance just one more time. And we're hitting him with like two basic weapons so far. So we'll see what kind of damage that looks like already, uh, and I think we're going to do pretty good this time. Especially when we get more weapons in the ultimate versions if we're doing this with like one weapon. He just ran into Boblin, and so far we're doing tons of damage. I just need to stay much farther away from him. 
Uh, we're definitely not as tough as we were because we don't have a lot of the heals yet, but our damage is there. And that's just only going to escalate more and more as time goes on because we've upgraded damage and critical chance and critical damage quite a bit. As you can see by the way, we're melting them. Just got to try to stop uh, getting hit by every little thing. And back to the boss shroom. We got a little bit of heals coming back away now. Uh, still got to be really careful. But I've also just added a lot of basic level weapons just because our basic damage is so high that I think we could probably just attack constantly with all sorts of different weapons now and do tons of damage like this. Yep, I feel pretty good about our odds. We can even just get right in its face right now. Whoops, shouldn't have done that, but you get the idea. We're doing tons of damage, especially with the big shurikens, and it's already dead. That was a new record for that thing. Uh, plus, uh, everything I'm doing, the more hits I do, the more chance I have to uh, heal myself. So I'm going to do bigger camera size. I'm going to upgrade the wine so we get a little bit more healing out of that. And I'm going to get the dense matter again because that's going to help group the enemies uh, away from me for a sec. And on top of that, it is just more damage. I really need to stop getting hit in places like that. I was going for this, which I think is definitely going to be my friend. Which one of these is the strongest? I think it's actually the camera currently. Uh, it's hard to see everything down there, but whatever the case, that's going to be a lot quicker. Okay, I'm just going to buy snowballs at this point. That's just not really a ton of damage. It's some damage, but it's also just healing chances. The more things I'm going out there, the more chances. I have to heal myself with. And at this point I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to take an extra 10% damage. We're going to lose some armor because of that as I walk into the enemies. But I think we're going to be alright this time. Okay, now I have the camera that's going to add stun duration to the idiots it hits. So it's going to go off often and stun them. And then they're very vulnerable and sitting there. Hopefully that applies to bosses. Okay, we made it to the next boss named Croak. We already stripped off one layer of its health bar. This got to ooh, not do any of that. That actually did a lot of damage to us. I'm not sure if this stun is stunning the boss. We'll make our baseball bat bigger. Because once you get those uh, weapons near their max level, they start to really do a lot of damage. And it's about dead. Okay, the baseball bat's going to be maxed out for damage, which feels pretty good. That thing's hitting hard, and it's knocking things back and stunning them. I had to pick all this up before it despawns. Grab some health. Uh, we're also going to get the toast to help heal us a little bit too, because pretty soon we're probably going to have to start tanking through some damage. Let's pick up all these. Uh, let's make the dense matter bigger. Uh, we'll make more missiles. And that's it for now. But that's plenty of little upgrades for us. We can work with this. Then I'm just going to pretty much upgrade whatever weapon is here. So we'll keep the damage going. But the baseball bat I saw just hit for like 270 uh, HP by itself. Which is ridiculous for one giant swing of something. Okay, we're going to buy some more missiles. They're going to pierce now. Which is certainly going to help. I've never had this many weapons uh, firing at once. Like look at them all along the bottom. These are all individual weapons. Several of which uh, are star and maxed out so that's going to be doing tons of damage and here comes our fiery idiot friend pingu so hopefully this time we get a little bit of a better shot oh we got health right here too so we might hang out near this thing uh because then if we need a little bit of health which we uh inevitably will we can grab it there uh, we are also a little bit self healing okay i can't go near any of that this stun does work against him though okay movement speed was something i should not forget to get again because if i could move i could actually avoid pingu's attack damaging pingu isn't the issue it's avoiding those fiery attacks it just comes in droves. Okay, can we stun Pangu? Oh, well, okay, we walked right into the fire. It's a movement problem. Okay, we're gonna try again for Pangu. This time I've got a lot more movement speed, so I'll hopefully be able to avoid the idiot a little bit better than that. We don't have a lot of heals, we do have a lot of damage, and so far I'm doing this really poorly. I do have more movement speed though, so I did get that part right. This gotta move away. Yeah, we're doing some big damage, really big damage. He's almost dead already. Uh, so we just gotta be very careful to avoid him. Keep moving away. He'll come back to us. Got him. Perfect. See, all we needed was more movement speed and ridiculous amounts of damage. Uh, I'm also going to make everything 10% bigger and we're going to take something. The hot sauce has been a lot of fun. We're just dropping giant things of that everywhere and it's actually really strong. Uh, I'm also going to get some healing finally. Uh, every 10 seconds or whatever, we're going to get heals. Then we'll take an extra 10% damage. Mostly if I just set on my hot sauce, I'm pretty safe because I also have a super yo-yo going around destroying things. But this is working. Sometimes when I hit things, I get healed. I get healed every 10 seconds and our shadow clone now does extra damage too. So now we're firing all sorts of things in all sorts of directions and i'm feeling so confident we're going to take an extra 10 percent damage so we're now doing 100 for a lot of those shots there's some 84s the yo-yo is doing 100 damage this is fun i think instead of taking the damage up anymore and losing any more defense i'm just going to do bigger equip sizes i think that literally means just all my attacks are that much bigger including my hot sauce which is now taking up a large part of the screen and that's doing a lot of damage uh, at this point i'm probably just going to buy a camera just for a little bit of extra damage again it certainly can't hurt and eventually if we get that upgraded it is really 
strong. But at this stage in the run, uh, level 1 upgrades aren't really going to do a ton to these enemies. Hops is coming in. Uh, Hops is a stupid name, so we're going to find out what it has to offer us. We're going to sit in the hot sauce for a second until we get out of the ring of idiots. Hops does have 9000 HP and apparently it fires orbs that are seeking at us, which is why I'm really glad we upgraded movement speed. So I'm going to change my toast cooldown so now we're going to get healed even quicker. Uh, Hops is taking their sweet time getting to me. Okay, there's Hops finally, but uh, I was hoping they would hold still when they fired the bubbles at me because then I could drop hot sauce on it and it would just sit there on damage. So far it's really annoying to reach them. They're kind of just way out here on the edge constantly where I can't really get to them. When I can though, their damage drops real quick. This boss is super annoying just in the fact that like it's so hard to get close to them. Okay, I guess I'll just buy Soju, whatever that is, because that's just an extra attack we can use. And there, uh, finally got close enough to do some damage. Look how quick we're melting it. Come on, give me all the attacks. There comes the yo-yo and a few more hits and you're dead. Okay, so I guess I'll probably just buy more toast then and more toast again. Let's just make sure we're healing up and there's our extra damage too. So now I just kind of have to hang out and my HP recovers itself. Hitting things helps but I don't even need to do that anymore. Mm, the enemies are getting pretty strong though. This is with crazy upgraded damage and they're still getting close to me. Okay I'm gonna buy some wine then so that uh, on a 1% chance to heal we get big heals. Oh the next boss already. Onion. I guess it did take us a while to kill the last one simply because of its movement speed. Oh yeah come into the red stuff stupid. Good job. Wow we're melting that thing. Oh never mind it's got like extra extra health bars. I don't know what's hurting me. Look how quick it is. Oh. Okay, I didn't. Wow, that thing was fast. The yo yo did 105 DPS, though, so that's fun. 